It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie and you probably are noticing that I have a special guest with me today that I want to introduce you all to because who doesn't love puppies, right? Like holding a puppy, you can't even be sad while you're holding a puppy. It's not even possible. So this is Blizzy. Well, her name is Blizzard, but we call her Blizzy for short. And she is a seven week old Bernadoodle puppy. So she's half Bernese Mountain Dog, half standard poodle. So she is a big fluffy ball of fun and she's super adorable. And I just wanted to show her all to you because I know there's a lot of animal lovers that watch this channel. Even though we're all about reselling on here, sometimes we have to be about puppies too. Okay, you go play. So for this week's video, we're going to talk about sales and how they've been lately. So I don't know about you all, but I am loving quarter four. It's been really good so far, although it's been strange for me because I've been having really slow weekends where normally I have really busy weekends um, and really busy weekdays. Lots of sales on the weekdays, not as many on the weekends. So you just never know. <laughs> you never know with eBay. But it, that's kind of been the trend for me lately. But I suppose, you know, in the run of things, as long as you're getting sales at some point during the week, that's good, right? So let's talk about these sales. Number one, this was a good one for sure. Uh, this is from um, a man by the name of Richard Simmons. He has a doll line, the Goebel Collection, and this is one of his dolls. I had heard that these were valuable, and they definitely are. Um, this one I purchased for $10 at a garage sale, and it sells for, well, this one sold for $130. And so that gives me $120 profit before eBay fees, of course, as, as is my usual figures for these sale videos. These are all before the eBay fees get taken out. Next, we have a Mr. Christmas brand Noah's Ark. Let me tell you all, every time I've bought a Mr. Christmas anything, it sells super fast. And this Noah's Ark was no exception. It was really random because it plays Christmas music, but it's Noah's Ark, which, you know, to me doesn't go necessarily hand in hand with Christmas. But what do I know? <laughs> so I paid $7 for this at Goodwill and it sold for $52.99 very quickly. So that was a nice profit for sure. Next, we have a National Audubon Society bird clock. I had heard about this as a bolo a very, very long time ago, and it has to be the one that makes the bird noises, and that's what this one was. I actually only paid a dollar for this clock at a garage sale, and I thought it was going to sell super fast, and it did not. Like, this has been sitting for months, but I'm happy to sell it. Um, it sold for $28, so that's a $27 profit. And just so you all know, I do charge shipping on just about every item, so there's, you know, that's figured in as well. Next, we have a piece of my past, <laughs> a Sony Discman. I definitely had one of these. So I purchased this very recently for $5. I sold it for $27. So that's a nice $22 profit. It came with the headphones. I don't know that they were original to the Discman, but still a good thing when you can have some, you know, that piece included. And then as well as the plug that goes into the wall so you can play it without batteries. Next, we have a pair of Small Soldiers vintage action figures. I paid $5 for the bag of these two at a garage sale, and they sold for $35. So that is a nice $30 profit. Small Soldiers anything is usually worth looking up. If I haven't mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. Definitely a good thing to look for. Next, I did a little retail arbitrage. I do not often do retail arbitrage. It's not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't have time. <laughs> you could spend all day just picking up stuff on clearance um, or something you know that's a good deal that's selling for more for whatever reason um, online. So, um, but yeah, this was retail arbitrage. I, I discovered it kind of by accident. I. 
I saw these at Walmart and I said to myself, you know, blow molds are cool. People love blow molds and people love the Grinch. I bet this is going to be a winner. And I bet people maybe don't even realize that Walmart has these. And this is a small desktop blow mold. And sure enough, I looked online and they were selling for in the mid thirties last year. So I had one left that I just didn't get to listing. I held, and you know, part of me was wanting to hold on to it to see if the value would appreciate over a year. Um, but I ended up selling it for $33. So that's a nice $23 profit. Pretty good for something you bought for $10 at Walmart that was brand new. So it was a win. Next, kind of a unique item. I talked last week about plush. Do check out that video if you haven't. I, I That video, the numbers on it were smaller than usual, probably because of the holiday weekend. But, it, you know, if you all, you know, need to catch up, that video is very helpful for those who sell plush. Um, but this was an example of plush that sell well. I did not mention this in that video, but I have sold two of these in the past couple of weeks. Um, these are Bath and Body Works Black Sheep Plush. Again, you know, I, it was something I saw that I thought, you know, this is kind of weird and unusual. I, and they were brand new. I, I felt like maybe they might sell. I got them at a garage sale. I paid $15 for a lot of seven of them. So I've got more of these. <laughs> um, and they've been selling for $27. So that I am in the green on that. So at this point, that's $27 in my pocket. Next, we have McDonald Land uh, Christmas Village Theater. I paid $10 for this at Goodwill. Some McDonald's collector just offloaded everything they had, and this was part of it. It was it's it appears to be to be new. Um, but yeah, I was able to sell it for $80. So that is a nice $70 profit. Next, we have Blaze and the Monster Machines. I've mentioned this before in my videos. Do find Blaze and the Monster Machines stuff. There's a lot of parents that like to buy these for their kids. Some of the toys they no longer make. Uh, they've started kind of making some of the, the die-cast cars again, um, but I, I still would venture to say that the more vintage ones are still worth picking up. There's certain ones that are rare and still a good pickup, but you just have to kind of look to see if you know what year they're made in. But this is Swoops the helicopter. He's been around for a bit, and I did get the blaze that's supposed to go inside, and I've sold this guy before. Um, it's a, a great item to pick up. I sold him for $35. It was a $25 profit. Oh, I'm sorry, $30 profit. Next, this was a really good sale. I got this Juicy Couture vintage bag at a garage sale and I paid five dollars for it and as I've been mentioning in videos vintage juicy couture is hot right now if it's made of velour and old people will buy it uh, I've been doing really well selling vintage juicy it does not stay on my shelf and even an expensive thing like this purse went decently quick um but I, I, yeah, I bought it for $5, sold it for $199.99. It's a nice $195 profit. Can't lose there. Next, kind of a random item, and this sat for a while, um, this Disney Princess Waffle Maker, but I only spent $7 on it at Goodwill. It sold for $30, $23 profit. I'm happy. I'm always happy to make anything over $20. That makes Melanie happy. Next, we have a Department 56 Santa's Sleigh Maker. Department 56 is what you want to be looking for around this time of year because they sell and they sell for really good money and often people offload them for hardly anything. Um, this one I paid $10 for. This was a, a larger set. Um, I sold it for $75, so that's a $65 profit. Great find, great sale. Next my first piece of Gucci that I have ever sold. And I used to sell high-end stuff only, like clothes, purses, all that, but oddly enough, never found Gucci. <laughs> so probably found about every other brand, just never Gucci. Um, so this is my first Gucci find, and it was actually just a, 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 a cotton shopping bag. Uh, it's possible the person, you know, bought something else, and this was what or it could even be a dust bag, come to think of it. I am not sure even exactly <laughs> what what its original purpose was, but 
I paid $20 for it, which I remember thinking at the time, I was like, oh, am I really going to do this? This is just this thin little bag. But I was able to sell it for $55, which is what I had seen comps for. It took a little while, but it but it got sold. So I made a $35 profit. So that's more than doubling my money. I'm happy. Next, a Rudolph figure set, I believe by Inesco, I want to say. My notes are not telling me that, but I believe that's what it is. Um, I had bought these and they actually were put inside the box of this other set of Rudolph figures. So it was just jam packed with Rudolph stuff. And I believe I paid $15 originally for it, but I ended up selling the original set, you know, with, you know, that came in the box. And then these little boxes I sold in, you know, separate as a lot. So I made a ton of money on this. So this was $50 in my pocket. That's what it sold for. I was in the green already from selling those other figures. So yay, Rudolph stuff is hot. People love it. So be on the lookout for Rudolph anything really. Just obviously check, you know, do your homework. But a lot of times vintage Rudolph stuff is, is really good. Next, who remembers bum equipment? I do. I had a bum equipment sweatshirt or two back in the day. So for nostalgia reasons, I had to pick it up. I figured if nobody bought it, I'd just end up wearing it. But they sell. I've sold other bum equipment sweatshirts before. I bought this one for $5. Sold it for $21. $16 profit. All good. Bread and butter. Sometimes you just buy items because they, you know, they speak to you in some way, you know. And maybe they're not your best sales ever. But as long as you're making money, it's good. Next, I have mentioned and sold this before. This is an Imaginex Power Rangers Dragon Zord. Now, here's the thing. I will remind you all again with this item. You find it without the remote. It's pretty much worthless. People won't spend anything for that. This one, on the other hand, was 100% complete. Actually, maybe even a little over 100% complete because I'm pretty sure it came with extra darts. You never see them with the darts. People will buy them without the darts. But this one got maximum value because of the fact that it came with darts. So this guy sold for $70. I bought this in a lot of toys that I paid $20 for. So I, And I haven't sold anything else from that lot yet. So I'm just entering the green now, um, but $50 was my profit thus far. So that's good. Next, we Sports. We Sports is a good pickup at all times. We Sports sells typically um, in the $20 range. And this one was free. I got this one off the curb during the big trash pickup. So $22 in my pocket. Next we have Ariad Boots. I paid up a little bit for these. Goodwill had them marked up to 10. I sold them for 40. I was a little worried I wasn't gonna get that, but I, I was able to. And the customer was very happy with them, so yay for that. Um, so that's a $30 profit. Next. I talked about Hallmark Keepsake Ornaments a couple of weeks ago. Again, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, this ornament was not mentioned, but it's definitely, or maybe it was. Gosh, my memory's bad. Um, well, I paid $10 for it, sold it for $32.99. So that is a $23 profit before eBay fees. Twilight ornaments are good to pick up. Next, um, this was a really good sale as well. I had this Fuzzy Garfield that I bought over the summer from a collector. So I had to pay up a little bit for this because this guy knew what he had, but still gave me a very good deal, which he said he would do. <laughs> so he sold me this Garfield. Uh, this is a Dinkin Garfield. Um, I paid $25 for it. It sold for $130. It probably would have sold sooner, but I was being greedy and trying to get a little more. But I am happy with my profit because when you make over $100 on something, it's a good day. <laughs> $105 is a good payday for one item. Next, another pair of shoes, Doc Martens. Doc Martens are great. They fly off the shelf no matter what, no matter who they're for. That includes kids. Um, so Doc Boots for kids are great pickups if you can get them for cheap enough. A lot of the times people charge too much, but I bought these for $10 
and I sold them for 35 made $25 profit. Next, we have a Rams starter jacket, a vintage one. They're starting to remake these now, like in thinner varieties. Like they're more like hoodies, but they, there's that same material, but they're thin. So more of like almost like a windbreaker. But anyways, this is a, this is an original. This is a vintage um, really awesome jacket. I could not believe it. I paid $5 for it over the summer. Some of you might remember it from a prior video. Um, sold for $100. That's about the going rate for a vintage starter jacket, you know, with a few exceptions, you know, depending on team and whatnot. But that, that's kind of the average, I would say. So yeah, $95 profit. Can't beat it. Was great. And that's it. Uh, it's been a great few weeks for sales. I am excited for the sales to continue as people do their holiday shopping. So of course I'll be making another one of these with the second half of quarter four when we get there. But in the meantime, this is Melanie with Crow's Thrifty Finds. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment, you know, maybe on a great sale you had recently. I love to read the comments and see what people are selling. It's, it's always good or the knowledge that people have. So I'll see you all next week.